Thank you to Amanda, Chris, Bree, Nor, Jordan, and Mariana for pledging on Patreon. Hello, welcome back to the channel and Vlogmas. Today I want to talk about making the holidays more accessible to your deaf friends and family. This video is kind of like a prequel to a video that I want to have out tomorrow, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that video. So obviously this year has changed a lot for the entire world. We had the pandemic, COVID-19, coronavirus going on. That's basically put a block in a lot of people's plans. So instead of being able to travel and see your family and your friends in person, although some people are still traveling anyway because who cares about people's lives, right? So instead of putting together in-person get-togethers, People are trying to do like FaceTime calls or Zoom calls. Zoom calls are probably the number one thing that people are doing when they have a large group of people. The thing about Zoom calls is that, actually this is just in general, the thing about being the only deaf person and the only sign language using person or even if you don't use sign language, oral deaf people, when I was strictly an oral deaf person, this was also just as complicated in terms of understanding anyway. Dinner table syndrome is very, very real. And if you don't know what dinner table syndrome is, essentially you're the only deaf person in a whole group of hearing people at the table or really anywhere. It doesn't have to be at a table, obviously. And everybody's talking, 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 and you have no idea what's going on. It's very difficult to lip read people, especially a whole group of people. Only 30 to 40% of the English language can can be read on the lips a little bit easier and even that is with still good background lighting you know no other ambient noise going around because some deaf people do have residual hearing and just too much commotion happening at once I and others just can't really figure out what's happening and so everybody's having a good time laughing together and you're like hey what's going on what's happening with this conversation and that conversation and people would just be like ah, it's not important I'll tell you later so you just kind of sit and uh just watch as things go by. You might get bits and pieces here, but it's not enough to really put a whole conversation together. And that was like the number one reason why I hated going to family events for the holidays, even though I didn't want to be alone because I've already grown up alone, so it just kind of sucked. It just still being with people, regardless, it still felt like being alone because I had no idea what was going on and nobody really had efficient communication with me. Yes, yeah, some people would do voice to text on their iPads and things like that, but it was just so much more tedious than if there was actual equal language acquisition happening here, right? So trying to read lips and stuff like that in person is already hard enough or can be hard enough. But now think about trying to do Zoom calls or Google meetings because I think those two you can have multiple people at once, right? You have tiny little squares. The larger number of people you have, the tinier those squares are going to get, right? So it's probably even more difficult to lip read somebody on the screen. Actually, it is at least for me because you also have to worry about internet connection, the quality of somebody's webcam. It's not going to be as crisp and clean as if you were with them in person. So Zoom fatigue is very, very real. So one thing I want you to keep in mind is that you got to include, if you're going to invite your deaf friend or your deaf family member over, you have to think of ways to include them. You can't just be like, hey, here's a link and yeah, that's it. I did my part. The one good thing about uh, Zoom chat is that there is Zoom chat. The one good thing about Zoom is that there is a Zoom chat box. So you could use that to be able to type throughout the whole thing. Just type throughout the whole thing. Is that a little more tedious than just talking out loud? Probably. But you'll be able to include the person who needs it the most. One other thing about Zoom is that they have closed captions. Google Meet has captioning as well. But the difference between the two, I think, is that Zoom might have the captions under a paywall and Google Meet might not. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on this. This is what I've seen from people tweeting. Zoom having it under a paywall is actually incredibly um, annoying, if true. And I want to do a separate video on that if somebody can confirm that for me. I tried doing a little quick Google search, but uh, I couldn't really find too much. But if it's still under a paywall, that's messed up. But if you're the person inviting them, get it. I think there might be a free trial though. I saw something about a free trial. Get the free trial. Don't, don't start anything until like the day before and get the free trial and test it out. Auto captions obviously not gonna be perfect at all. 
but um, it might be better than staring at a screen of very tiny mouths moving and you don't really know what's going on. The other thing you can do that's probably going to be the much better thing is learning sign language, though so in my case it would be ASL. Tomorrow's video will have a bunch of resources for you to look at, so again, subscribe so that way you'll see it tomorrow afternoon. Will you be fluent all of a sudden in what it's two weeks until Christmas? Unless you're the smartest person in the world and the fastest learning person in the world, probably not. If you are though, that's amazing and uh, please send that my way. Send that power, that magical power my way, please. You can still get some basics down, right? Just anything that will help make your friend or your family member a oh, whole lot more comfortable being in that Zoom meeting with you. I mean, come on, it can't be that hard to at least learn Merry Christmas and Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and is there anything else that's available, right? Some of the resources that we'll have for tomorrow's video will get you your basics down and it won't be a problem. Really the most helpful thing that you could probably do is just ask the person in particular that you're inviting what would be the best way for them but just in general if you just want to get an idea uh, hopefully this video is going to help you out say you're messaging them and they don't answer here's your answers until you get an actual answer for them all right <laughs> if all else fails well i guess we're just gonna have a whole deaf christmas together in a zoom meeting so we'll be ditching you and going over to our deaf instead it is what it is. Seriously though, know, obviously Christmas is going to be a stressful time this year and it can be a stressful time for deaf people, disabled people in general. So, you know, just think about that a little bit more when you're organizing your Zoom chats for everybody around you and inviting them in. Because obviously we want to be together more than usual this year considering everything that's going on so I just want you to keep that in mind if you are a hearing person wanting to invite your deaf friend or family member over to a meeting. The word meeting sounds weird over to your Zoom chat. You know what I mean. I'm not trying to make this like we're in business, right? That's weird, but you know what I mean. If you have any other advice because everyone is different, leave that down in the comments below. Fellow deaf viewers, if you have a piece of advice for yourself personally, put them down in the comments. Somebody can learn from you. Okay. If you would like to support the work that I do, consider pledging on Patreon or joining this channel as a channel member. That in particular, there's a button down below, but I'll put a link to both in the description box below. Again, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Share this with your friends and family so they're aware, and I will see you later.